Let's try and make some really big numbers today. I currently have a variety of 5 symbols on the board. That means when I spin, I should get 5 gold coins. And then I get a chance to add another random symbol to the board. We're going to go with the key because that gives 1 gold per turn. Also, we'll unlock one of these. Preferably the Mega Chest, the very rare variety, because that would give me 100 gold if it's destroyed. And given that I have 25 gold due in several turns, I've really got to start making some money. And we're also going to add our good friend the goose. That gives one coin per turn, but has 1% chance of adding a golden egg, which is worth 4 gold per turn. Plus, it's just fun to have a goose here supervising us. Next roll, we got 7 coins. Next, we're going to add some beer, because that simply gives 1 gold per turn, and at this point in the game, you got to take pretty much whatever money you can get. We did get a lockbox that'll give 1 gold per turn. It gets 15 when it's destroyed, so if it lands next to the key, it gets destroyed. Profit. It might take a few spins. But our 25 is due, we have 31. Now we've got 5 spins to make 50. We have a lucky capsule, destroys itself. At least one of the symbols to add after this spin will be rare or better. We're going to take that because if we get a good rare, we'll be in good shape. And as an artifact, we now get shedding season. Rabbits have a 15% chance of adding rabbit fur. That gives two coins, but also it gives us better luck for finding rare things, so we might need to add a few rabbits. A goose is sort of like a rabbit if it has a longer neck. And since our rare capsule thing popped, we got our rare item, which is a Beastmaster. He gives two coins, but adjacent whatever creatures give extra. So if we have a rabbit, that will give extra, but our goose is also going to get extra, along with what other fun creatures we want to get. He's already paying off, and our capsule opened, so that was actually 28 gold for a single turn. He does also make bees worth more. So we're going to throw a bee up on the board. The more multipliers we can get going, the better, because he's not always going to touch things. So we might wind up with a lot of bees, but we need 50 gold in two spins. We already have 50 gold, so right now we're just getting ahead of the game. The bees also play off the flowers. I already forgot we have a chance of getting golden eggs, so we're going to get another goose. That will pair nicely with the Beastmaster. He's going to work his magic and make those things worth extra, extra money. So our 50 gold has come due. We have 77 gold. So we have more than enough money and we have a head start on our next level. Which is going to be 106 spins. We're going to throw a Pufferfish into the mix. That should be a beast, although it looks like a crudely drawn sunshine. If we at some point remove it, we get a reroll capsule. That means we can reroll one of our items. We're also going to get a swear jar for an artifact. That's going to be a good investment. We're going to put one gold in each time we make less than 36. And we get to destroy it at some point and get free time to value out of it. So that's just a good investment. Right now, I really just need our Beastmaster to touch all of the animals he possibly can. So I don't think I actually want any of these because I don't think they're going to be helpful. But we're still going to be in good shape. Beastmaster is touching everything. We just need more animals. 16 gold. The owl could help. He only gives one, but he gives one every three spins. And that's just a beast. The more things we have on the board, obviously the more we get every single turn, including hopefully the crab. I have confirmed that the crab is in fact a beast. There's also a sloth, which is a lot of fun. Uh, crabs also give three coins more for each other crab in the same row. So if we get some crab multipliers going on in a big way, plus the Beastmaster, we could actually make tons of money. Uh, we're going to throw the turtle down. Gives four every three spins. So that's not going to be a huge payer. But if he happens to land next to the Beastmaster, who's definitely paying off here, that's going to be a good spin. 21. I'm just going to go ahead and get another owl at this point because that is in fact a beast. Then we're going to go ahead and spin again. I think we've hit our 100 gold goal. We're at 110 already plus a pretty weak spin but we've got more than enough. So after paying that, we're down to $29, but we need 150. So we'll hopefully get some rare things. We do get two rerolls and two removal tokens. So we're going to use the reroll right away because there's no animals here. We did get a billionaire. They just make cheese and mine and add value when destroyed. Uh, we are not going to bother to do that. We'll just take a reroll capsule. And then for the artifact, we'll simply take a purple pepper. It gives five coins if three or more of the same symbol are adjacent and not blanks. We'll eventually have enough Beastmasters, Gooses, or Crabs to hopefully trigger that. But for now, we need to get really, really lucky and have our Beastmaster keep touching all of our beautiful animals. This could actually pop into chickens, which could reproduce. I think we need faster results. For now, I'm going to take a shiny pebble because I don't think our board is full. That gives us a better chance to find uncommon, rare, and very rare things, which we're going to want and need a lot of if we're going to get this thing deep. An oyster is technically an animal, but we need to start getting away from common and into uncommon things. This doll I don't think is considered a beast either. And we have 4 spins to make $74, so we're going to have to get a little bit lucky with our rolls. Probably should just fill these in with whatever I can at this point, just to hopefully make the money. But this should be a pretty good spin overall, that was 26. We're actually just going to take a lockbox for now because I need some kind of value showing up here. We still have 2 blank spaces, and my Beastmaster did nothing there. At this point I'm going to take a seed. 
because there's a 1 in 4 chance for it to pop and grow into one of these fruits and some of these fruits can actually be quite good. But now the Beastmaster is really going to go to work, he's going to multiply 9 separate animals plus the bee did his thing on a flower, $33. We also have a dog which actually pairs with pretty much any human being so the Beastmaster should be on here somewhere so we can actually make the Beastmaster work more in return. So that's going to start working out, he's already beside the Beastmaster. So yeah, those are going to have a very good relationship with each other, the dog is worth 6 all by itself. We needed 150, we have 189. And we're finally starting to get a little bit of the uncommon stuff. None of these are animals, so I can't be bothered. For our artifact, the tortoise and the hare give 77 coins as in destroyed if a rabbit is in the leftmost and a turtle is in the rightmost columns, which might at some point happen. Either way, there's a chance of getting money. Our thing popped and popped into a cherry, which isn't super helpful. What is going to be helpful is a key, which is going to get rid of some of our lockboxes eventually. One thing I'm going to destroy right now is probably going to be this beer, which isn't doing anything for us right now. Maybe I'll also a pearl. If it's not an animal, we don't really want it right now. Okay, one of the lockboxes open, so now we've actually got three empty spaces on the board. Luckily we got wine, that's going to give two per spin, permanently gives one more after giving coins eight times, so that's just going to be a good investment sort of in itself. Our Beastmaster rolled in a weak spot. That's okay, we're going to add a goldfish, that works with the Beastmaster, uh, destroys adjacent bubbles. We don't have any bubbles on the board, but it doesn't mean we won't forever. So then we just need a few big old spins to get us going again. The Beastmaster is really, really doing good though. He's making us so much money, there's 40 for a single spin. We're going to hopefully get lucky with a seed and that's going to pop into a watermelon, which is very rare. And it multiplies with other watermelons, just like in real life. The more watermelons you have, the better that things happen. We did get another bottle of wine, so we're going to take another bottle of wine because we really need that investment in ourselves. The more uh, good things we have, getting stronger every round, the better we're going to be down the road. Unfortunately, we didn't really get anything, anything great here, so we're going to skip this. We've got one spin to make 10 gold, so I think we're going to make it here. But our margin is getting tighter and tighter, so we're going to have to do something about that. Pay 225, we have 13 left over, but we gotta make 307 spins. Uh, I think I'm actually going to give the chick a chance, because 1 in 10 will give us a chicken, and the chicken's gonna give 2, and the chicken is touchable by the Beastmaster. Okay, here's a very good one for us right now Golden Carrot. It's very rare, so we won't find this very often. We're 5 times more likely to find uncommon, rare, and very rare. Rabbits also give 5 times more coins, so we need a rabbit now too. But now that we have a rarer chance to find things, we'll hopefully find a rabbit. And those will combine with the Beastmaster to give us extra extra points. We did find a sloth. So he basically gives uh, 4 coins every 2 spins. If he touches the Beastmaster while doing that, that's just a bigger bonus to us. I'm also going to remove a coin right now because it's not a thing we can really utilize. Same with the cherry. That way there's just more animals on the board. We need more animal to Beastmaster ratio. Simple as that. 30 gold per turn is not going to get us there. Uh, we're going to add another chick for now. And hopefully that will spawn more eggs, which spawn bigger chickens, which get us even more money. We got some kind of achievement for the turtle moving around, apparently. That's all well and good. We're going to reroll this. I would like a single rabbit. At any point in the world, a rabbit would be great. For now, I'm going to take a buffing capsule. Destroys itself. Adjacent symbols are worth two times more. So hopefully when that shows up, it shows up at a good time to really multiply things like our sloth. If that would happen to pay out this turn, 16 from a single sloth. We did get a rare emerald, but that's under the gem category. We don't have anything that helps gems. So we're going to reroll. There's our rabbit finally. It gives one coin, permanently gives two coins after giving ten times. So the longer it goes for, the more it is worth itself. But our thing also multiplies that in a big way, so it's already worth uh, quite a lot apparently. Five. There is a nice rare tombstone here, but I really want to stick to the animals. So we're going to take a risk and go for a roll here. We just need some lucky rolls at this point. We need our rabbits and a few other things to really start doing some magic. There was 37. A wolf would be fine as well. That touches the Beastmaster. We could also use more of those guys. Uh, more Beastmasters would absolutely help get us a lot more points. We're going to spin and see what happens. We also have a chance of getting the rabbit hair too, which would give us even better luck. Uh, for now, we need 300. We have 269, but we can break our swear jar. And that's going to give us 329. So we're 30 over what we need. 10% better. So now we need 350 and 8 spins. We're starting with 30. We've got a whole bunch of people. Our dog can play off the farmer, so he can double his value, and the farmer does have some overlap on some animals. If we happen to get a cow, that would be great. Also a chicken. Most of these aren't really helpful for me, so we're just going to take the 
the time machine because it's uncommon, basically things take less time to turn into what they're supposed to turn into, which we might utilize eventually anyway. So the Beastmaster went to work, the Farmer actually went to work on quite a few things, so that was 51 for a single roll. I don't think I'm actually going to bother with Rapid Fluff at this point. Uh, we need things that can multiply and we already have a very good chance of finding very rare stuff. So Chemical 7 it is. Destroys itself and gives 7 coins, add 1, 7. If we get three sevens, we get a bunch of money. We're just going to keep on spinning and hoping for big, big, big luck on some things. We did actually get a peach popping from a seed. That's worth two, so that's actually a somewhat valuable symbol by itself. Uh, chick is tempting because it can spawn chickens, which can also potentially spawn golden eggs. But yeah, maybe a chick is going to be better because we have a farmer that can also multiply eggs. And that's really how we're going to succeed here. We need to multiply things. If we can't multiply things, we don't really have a fighting chance. We did just have a new chicken born. And we're getting lots of good multipliers going, so we're making money. But we have five spins to make a lot of gold, so we're going to skip this. Hopefully get lucky and hopefully find a very rare symbol. We could also use a destroyer symbol too, but that uh, some of these multipliers are really working overtime these days. There's a removal capsule. We're going to go ahead and get that. Destroys itself, gives one removal once it uh, does destroy itself, so we can take off something that's not really giving us any money anymore. The only thing we got here was rain, which will give two coins. Flowers get more money, but we're not really playing on flowers. Hours. We're going to go ahead and destroy something here that's not giving us any benefit. Probably the cherry at this point. The cherry can go away. The wheels will still be full of all sorts of good stuff. I need the Beastmaster to spawn in the center where he's going to touch more things. I don't really like any of these options either. If we had a mining build, that would be great. A thief is pretty useless to us. We just need a big multiplier. We didn't even get the Beastmaster to spawn in that one. That's not really great for us. We do have a chance here to get a rare Robin Hood. He gives 25 gold every 4 spins, but he gives minus 4 every 4, so he's only plus 9 at that point. He's supposed to play off the arrows. If we had arrows, I'd actually take that, but since we don't, no Robin Hood for now. So we need to get just the littlest bit lucky here, and get over the 350 mark, which we did. Now I gotta get all the way up to 425 and 8 spins. That's not the easiest thing in the world to do, but we did get some more removals. I might legitimately have to start moving into fruits, because we're not getting very lucky with animals. The farmer can play off the fruit, so I'm actually going to take the apple at this point. Then for the artifact, a treasure map. You may destroy this item after 20 spins. Adds key and chest once it's done. On second thought, that's just going to take a valuable room for a bunch of turns. Early in the game, that would have been great. For now, we're going to take a fish bowl. Put all fish in this item before each spin gives one for each fish in the bowl. So I'm pretty sure that's going to be fine. I think there's at least one fish out there somewhere. I just got 130 for that spin. I didn't really see why. Something might have popped. It might have been the seven. We can add our first bear. That's worth two. Destroys adjacent honey. Gives 40 gold for each adjacent honey destroyed. Maybe what we need is just a lot of rabbits at this point because the rabbits are going to get bigger and bigger boosts as they go. Like that's probably worth a lot. The rabbit by itself is worth 30. Okay, we're also going to throw in a puffer fish because that's uncommon. The game clearly heard me whining about the things that were not helping us. I actually have three rabbit fluffs at this point. So we're getting very likely to get better items. But the rabbit fluffs themselves are maybe going to start taking up room. One thing I'm going to remove is a shiny pebble. We're getting lots of good luck and that's not worth enough money for us to justify it any longer. Also a flower is going to go. No, in saying that an owl is going to go. An owl is probably less useful than a flower and that's saying a lot. Big spin. We got lots of luck coming up. We got the dog touching the farmer and the farmer touching the dog. 74. We could take another puffer fish but I'm going to re-roll for better stuff. We did get a rare but it's a tomb. A tomb is where I want my animals to go right now. But we're making surprisingly good money considering uh we felt like we were just scraping by for a moment and suddenly we're getting way ahead i think that's probably due to the power of the rabbit we got another rare general zeroff he destroys other humans which we don't really want he would give 25 for each symbol destroyed so if we had a bunch of humans he would be great since we don't chemical seven destroys itself we get seven dollars and adds one big seven to our board we get enough of those sevens, we get big money. For now, we're going to sit back and enjoy all that money rolling in. We're also going to take a bit of a gamble and put a bronze arrow up. That gives nothing by itself, but it's going to randomly spin and whatever it points to gets double points. So that'll probably pay for itself, given enough time, depending on what it points at. But our income is pretty reliable, so we can get away with that. At this point, I think I actually kind of like the diver. Because he's going to get rid of some of our animals, but every time he does... He gets a permanent one coin boost for each one. So if he removes a few things, he'll be worth like seven per spin. And that's just very reliable income. Plus he's going to get rid of things like the crab. Crabs are great if there's more crabs, but a single crab 
not that fun. So hopefully the diver shows up and removes some of our stupid sea creatures. My trusty arrow pointed right off the board, so it's of no help to anyone. But we did just get a golden egg. I'm pretty sure the farmer can multiply a golden egg when he touches it. He sure can. Our Beastmaster won't, but we can sort of start getting away from the Beastmaster depending on the animals we're getting. Because we make it more valuable fruit anyway, so the farmer might be the way to go. We got our multiplier up that way, 74. So we got way ahead on that one. We needed 425, we paid him with 571 dollary dues. There's a chance with another Robin Hood, he can play off my arrows. If we had better arrows, we would consider that. For now, we're just going to re-roll this, our rare strawberry. We may quickly be moving into farmer and fruits. Give us plus one more if there are at least two strawberries, so the strawberries will play off each other. We're also going to take the booster pack. We destroy it. We choose four common, three uncommon, and one rare symbol to add. So I think we can just go ahead and do that. And if we don't like the crap it gives us, we move on. And if we don't like that, we move on again, and it will keep offering us more and more stuff. And eventually, we might find something we like, or we won't. I will take a rare spirit, gives six coins, destroys itself after it, so it only rolls for four turns, but that's just easy money for a few minutes. And that's very reliable income, which we kind of need. Our arrow is very, very bad. Things like a wolf, I don't think I'm going to worry about anymore. It's got to be something that gives more than two coins at this point for us to, oh, the diver just went ham. He's going to destroy a whole bunch of things. All right, well, we might have been well served to get a um, wolf. Though maybe we'll get away from the animals and move back into fruit. Because we got the pair, that gives one coin. Whenever another symbol makes a symbol give additional money, this symbol permanently gives one more. So every time the farmer touches this, it's a permanent plus one boost. That can actually be triggered by a few things, including our little arrow, which didn't point to it this time, but it made the diver give 12. Pretty sure we're going to be okay to put another chick on the board because that's going to make eggs and more eggs. That symbol also just exploded in a big way. $46. We're going to roll past those. The sun gives three. Adjacent flowers give five times more. I don't have any flowers, nor do I want any, so we're actually going to go ahead and re-roll that. And I think we're running a little low on symbols right now because we destroyed a bunch, so we're actually going to add the orange. It's not the greatest symbol in the world, but it's a symbol, so we'll see what that can do for us. We're still making really good money, Routini. That was 65 for a very average roll. A buffing capsule destroys itself. Adjacent symbols give two times more. If that can land on or near a pair, which it didn't, that would have been big. But it's going to go ahead and double all the things up there. We got big, big multipliers there. The biggest was actually worth 30. So we have three full spins to make $70. So we'll just go ahead and roll. There's our pair. Nothing multiplied it, so it's still giving just one. But the pair could be a hard carry if we can get it to multiply somewhere. This stuff, all garbage. The diver's sitting at a plus four, though. The rabbit's sitting at a plus two. The wine is sitting at a plus one. We could probably remove the wines at some point. They're not doing a huge amount of anything currently. We are going to take a removal capsule just for something like that, because that's going to remove itself from the game, but also give us a chance to um, remove something else at our picking. So we need a 575, we have almost 100 over, but we need to get lucky rolls again. We got some very rare stuff here. The pirate is tempting because he just non-stop destroys a bunch of things, but we're not really getting any of those, and they're hard to find. That's definitely tempting because that's a lot of fun. I think we're better off getting a farmer just to multiply our usual stuff, because if we manage to multiply this pair a bunch of times, that will be worth everything. Then I'm just going to take the lunchbox. You may destroy this and add three symbols. The possible symbols are a bunch of stuff, including fruits. If we don't get any good fruits, we can obviously take the chemical seven that will destroy itself. And the more chemical sevens we get, uh, the more good stuff goes on up top. We did also get a rare apple, so the farmers, both of our farmers are going to play off that a lot. I really, really need the farmers touching things down here, but our diver just made 12 gold by himself, 61. There is another chemical 7 thing, so I'm pretty sure when Zax goes off, that's going to give us a bonus of 77. Where's all of our pairs and why aren't they getting touched more? We need our pairs to go ham. I don't know if a sand dollar is a beast or not, but I think the pufferfish is better. If he touches the diver, the diver gets upgrade and we get that anyway. Okay, I've got some removals to do. We're going to remove two of the wines and honestly, probably one of the rabbit fluffs because those are just spawning a lot. And they give us a little bit better luck, but I need farmers on the board, and I need farmers touching all sorts of different things. There's also a mega chest. Kind of wish we took the pirate now, because he would have done very well with this. We might just put that on the board, because it's quite valuable. Gives 100 when destroyed. If we get a chance to open that, we sure will. There's our pair that hasn't been upgraded a single time yet, so it's really wasting our time. None of these are beasts or food. This one's debatable, but we're going to skip and roll. I'm very attentive to this pair now. We did just get a double multiplier and a golden egg, though. So that was worth 16 by itself. We got a whole bunch of useless people. Can't use those. So we're going to spin, hoping for big, big, well, at least the arrow pointed down this time. Maybe there'll be some overlap there or something good. 
Yeah, still 56 for a roll. For some reason, our farmers don't do anything with beehives. We have a rare beehive here that has a 10% chance of adding honey, which my bear would eat. I don't know if that's going to be a good idea to start adding a bunch of honey at this point. Probably not. Our reels are already sort of overfull with stuff I don't want. I would happily remove some of them, although our diver did just take one away, so that's going to be good for us. The entirety of this roll was worth 69. There is a comedian, which would boost a whole bunch of random things. The only one relevant is the dog. And that's definitely not worth it. We're not boosting a single thing because that would just not give us any money anyway. So we're going to skip all of that. How much money do we need? I have just about 600 gold. Hopefully I don't need as much as I think I might. Because this wasn't a very good roll. Okay, turns out we have $1 more than we need currently. So we're doing okay. We're going to throw a jellyfish down. I'm pretty sure my diver can eat a jellyfish. Yes, and then he's going to get even more boosted. He's currently worth 5, so he's very valuable at his base. I think we finally touched our pair for the first time. So it finally got a plus 1 to value. Uh, we also got a multiplier off of that, which didn't actually amount to anything. But we had 690, we needed 625. It loves giving us rare things, but none of the type we like. We're going to put a spirit down, give 6 coins, destroys itself after 4 turns, that way it won't be in our way. I'm going to take the quantum symbol bomb. That's just basically an item booster again, so we can get potentially all sorts of stuff out of there. That's going to give 2, gives 10 when removed. Our diver can actually eat that, and he will. I think I might actually throw the pirate in there, because we can start to get some of these chests, and he can hopefully eat them and boost himself up. That's kind of a risk right now. I would have rather used a guy like that in the mid game, but better late than never. That rolls 69, brought us uh, all the way up to 133. We don't want an orange. We don't really want any of that. What I do want to do is remove this chick because that's just constantly growing us chickens at this point and chickens aren't good either. So good, he removed the thing. That's going to be a small boost of money. So that's going to be a slightly better spin for a 78. Eldritch creature. Oh, and our Beastmasters can actually uh, multiply off the Eldritch creature. So that's good. Destroys adjacent those things too. Gives one for each time it destroyed, but I don't have any of those anyway. Um, whatever the case, Eldritch Creature. That's fun. So hopefully that shows up a lot and gets Beastmastered in a big way. Uh, there's a safe. I'm going to throw that up because we have our pirate there ready to uh, dive into that at his earliest convenience. We'll see how this goes. I've still got a lot of symbols I would like to get rid of at this point, but our fire thing did just get exploded in a rather dramatic fashion. 81 for a single spin is not bad. There's another Beastmaster. So he can give all those animals a two times boost. So if the Beastmasters also like double up on the thing, that's a big, big boost. So if he wanted to go ahead and, um, oh, the pirate actually, oh, the pirate got two things opened. And I might have got a multiplier off the arrows. That might have been absolutely huge. 206. So we have 675 due and five spins. We have 650 already, thanks to that. We're also going to throw a jellyfish down. The diver's going to eat that. Uh, the pirate's also now giving 2 plus 2, so he gets 4 per spin anyway. And he's just a non-stop opening machine. Okay, we're going to give another puffer fish because the diver will eat that and give us a reroll token. The diver is actually our most valuable thing still. I really run a lot of uh, removal tokens though. That would be our biggest bet right now. That would help us hugely if I could just sift through all this. Well, we're going to bring down another safe. That's going to give 30 once the pirate opens it. Mm, but for now, we'll just let the Beastmasters go. Oh, he did open it already. He's working quick. There's also a dove. If an adjacent symbol would be destroyed, instead it isn't, and this symbol permanently gives plus one more. That... Hmm... That's kind of risky, because I need some of those things to actually break and get out of my way. So, no. I might come to regret that, but for now, we don't want the dove. Look, our stupid pair finally got another slight upgrade to itself. I thought that'd be worth like 45 by now. Well, luckily we're well ahead on the curve. Our pirate is down there uh, living his best life, but he still gives three. So even if he's not destroying anything, he's actually fairly valuable. Needed 675, have almost a thousand. We're rewarded with some rare stuff. We don't want more divers. One will stack better than several. Magic key is rare, gives two, but destroys uh, adjacent chests and gives three times the value for doing so. And a cardboard box is kind of exactly what I need. Gives one destroyer token every 10 spins. Speaking of destroyer tokens, I'm going to destroy one egg, which gives pretty much nothing, and one rabbit's fur, which mostly just gets in our way these days. There's a lot of different things I could destroy, though. I think the rabbit fur has got to be knocked down. It's showing up routinely, so we got rid of one of those. We're going to keep going. And we got a big multiplier up that way. Did that amount to anything? Not really. Well, there's another farmer, though, so I think I'm actually going to get one of those because we have so many of those things down. If we can get them stacking on the pairs, they'll really add up quickly. The diver's worth a lot. See, there we go. We already got farmers on the pair. The chicken got a double roll. Uh, that apple got a double roll. So the farmers are really uh, carrying it home for us. There's another dove, but I think that's just too risky. The bear is tempting, but we're not getting any honey anyway. There's nothing really here for us to take. Although this is interesting. Destroys itself at one symbol that was destroyed this game. 
So hopefully we get to pick and it doesn't just throw it up there because that would be annoying. But we might get something back that we uh, need again or regret losing. Well, we're going to bring in another puffer fish because the diver is hungry. We already have 500 of the uh, 777 we need. Oh, and our pirate just ate the safe. So we're going to get a big boost out of that. And he's going to get a permanent boost to himself because there's 31 out of whatever that was that he ate. And we'll take some chemical sevens. That's just going to uh, add up to eventual sevens anyway. And that's going to give us more money. The magic key will eventually open something as well. I can't believe the pair is still only at a plus three. It is giving four every spin now, but I thought by now it would be at like, seriously, 20, 25. So it shows what I know. Okay, I'm going to take a reroll capsule for now because you can never have too many options. That went straight down there to multiply all of those. Even that's not very good. We should probably get a better version of that. We did get another pair. So if we can just get a bunch of pairs and a bunch of farmers together. Yeah, see, that's good. Like we got a big multiplier off of the pairs. This one in particular has got a big boost and it's worth 12 already. So my plan is sort of actually starting to feel like it's working. I know we got ahead on money, but that was based more on luck than anything I was actually planning on. We really should have gotten the mining route this time. I feel like I'm getting all sorts of mining stuff and not a ton of the stuff we needed, but at least we did diversify from beasts into also plants. We needed 777, we have exactly 300 more at 1077. We've just got the psychopath, Mrs. Fruit. She's gonna give two coins, but she destroys adjacent cherries and things that we don't want anymore anyway, so she's gonna get a boost to clean up our crap. Then we're gonna take a cyan pepper, it gives three gold, unless three or more symbols are the same, which they often are because we have rabbit furs everywhere. There's even four rabbit furs, just to sort of emphasize my point. That should be a pretty good multiplier. Our eldritch creature got eight, 85 for a single spin like that. And that psychopath actually eats coconut halves, so the more we can feed her, the better. Hopefully she's around to eat stuff once in a while, but she hasn't got any boost yet, but it's only been a spin or two. So we're kind of making a gamble now to hopefully make it a, an investment in our future. There's another coconut half. Hopefully she's able to eat. There we go. She got one of them already. So she's already going to earn her money back. And this one's hugely valuable. Wild card. Gives money equal to the highest value among adjacent symbols. So that's probably going to be good. That might end up somewhat working against me. But I think its potential is too high to ignore. We're already making almost 100 per spin. Tempting to take another pirate, but I don't think we're going to get enough of those for him to touch them frequently enough. We mostly just need to keep uh, feeding Mrs. Psychopath things like oranges. So hopefully she starts to land near more of those. I think our board's getting too diversified and that's making me worried. Then we only need 1,005 spins, so let's have a buffing capsule. That's going to erupt up here, make everything there worth twice as much. That bear got a double-double multiplier, so he's up to 8 gold. Our diver's going to eat this puffer fish eventually. Once he does that, we'll be in better shape. Our uh, pair just got a nice boost. There's Highlander. Very rare. Give six. Uh, if we had anything at all that could multiply that, I would take it because six is a lot. But we don't really have anything that can work with that, so we're just moving on. We actually have a lot of bad symbols on the board, I've realized. That was only 45. I'm going to take a lucky capsule. Destroys itself. At least one of the symbols to add after this will be rare or better. We're going to take a spin. We got a big multiplier off the rabbit, hopefully. What is that worth now? 30. I don't know if I want a bronze arrow. If it was one of the better arrows, I would take it, but I sort of got too much stuff on the board. We need Mrs. Psychopath to eat some fruit like that. That's actually really good. Actually, that's we got a whole bunch of different things going on here. So that was worth in total 87. That was good because we only cleared our goal by 40. Okay, we can get another farmer, and I think I'm actually going to just because he can. he's going to be a good multiplier. And if we can get a bunch of farmers on that stupid pair. We'll just take a green pepper here because we have to get three of the same symbol. That's just easy money. Mrs. Psychopath is also worth considerably more now. And she got rid of some of the some of the poor uh, things on the board. So now hopefully we'll just get uh, better things overall and also better luck. We'll just keep feeding her lots of stupid stuff and uh, that'll probably work out fine. The more we can feed these idiots, the better. It's really just turned into feeding simulator. We'll take another chemical seven, although I might come to regret that. Okay, the pair finally got another boost, so it's going to start paying out pretty regularly. Golden egg is tempting. I guess with all the farmers, it'd be stupid not to take a golden egg because that could get like 30 times multipliered. And that kind of multiplier is just what we're here for. Whole bunch of things going on there, the highest of which was 11 whatever, 100 gold for that spin. I don't know what we're aiming for here, but I feel like our rabbit fur is really going to start to bonus. We got a big multiplier of things like the bee because we had three farmers touching them. Uh, yeah, one thing we're going to have to do actually is to start destroying some symbols that are working against us, probably mostly the rabbit furs. And just a lot of things like the wolf isn't really doing anything for us. 
probably get rid of three of these so they can just stop showing up and we can start getting more things touching the things they're supposed to be touching. We need farmers touching pears only. Like, I really don't want to add any uh, pieces to the board right now. I need to take some pieces away. Uh, I actually need to take a lot of pieces away. Because even like a good roll like this is 102 is just barely adequate. So I think I got a little bit too carried away in my investments in the future. I should have focused more on investments in the now. Or if we had I got a little bit lucky, the diver did really good. He's worth 10 per spin. But Mrs. Psychopath and the pair were not doing good enough. But ironically now it just got a pretty good boost. That gave us 36 by itself. I've also added the safe. So if the safe shows up, there's a few different things that could get it going. Uh, for now really, that's actually not a bad roll at 87. But we were not even halfway to our goal. So the game got really hard and we made some bad choices as per usual.